morning sa kanan na online. Salamat sa inyo kadayang pag-sulot sa atong simba. Ito ang sound quality. Na ito ang pagkakuranan sa mensahe karoon. If you have the Bible's video, I encourage you to follow our mga verses na itong sulutan karoon. Nasa Romans 8, 17 to 18. Let me read sa New King James version. Romans 8, 17 to 18. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. Let us pray first as the wisdom. Father, uh, we thank you, Lord God, once again. May I give you a chance to talk to you about your life in the world, but you might be my enemy. In the name of your Lord, 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 Araw ng mahimok kayo ng panalangin sa pinagulit ng mga pulong gino. Kapag karos ka ng mga padayo, hindi ko nasa kalisag na mga sinabi ka ng mga kalimutan ng Diyos. Lord, ikaw ang taong may isang taong kami mga malandong sa iyo ng tuloy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Atong padayo ng tunan ka ron, ang atong kining ng mga verses as we continue to study This Romans chapter 8. This is part 2 now sa atong pagtuon. Last time atong didiscuss ang future glory. That was two Sundays ago. Let's review first kung sa may atong nakatunan last Sunday. We learn nga ang chapter 8 sa Romans, naman ka sa Romans chapter 8, atong nakatunan nga ang chapter 8 nag-islog na itumod sa ministry sa Holy Spirit pag sanctify sa believer. O ang nagsunod kini chapter 8, meaning verse 1, that we are no longer condemned. Those who are already in Christ Jesus, are no longer condemned. Dili na hinuman sa silo. Now, this whole chapter 8, nag-explain, nag-nagugang, nagpamatood ni Ana sa ipangbuhat o buhatan sa Holy Spirit, aron ma-remain ang atong status is no longer condemned. O sa atong portion ka nun, I-secure ang atong no condemnation status sa Holy Spirit pinagi sa pag-guarantee sa atong future glory. Part na sa atong naisulutan last time. Uh, two Sundays ago. The Holy Spirit guarantees our future glory. O, again, atong inumduman kung sa matong gimingin nga ng future glory. Uh, glorification, maunang panahon na kita mahimo ng perfect, free from sin, and even ang atong being, wala na itain sa sin. Perfect na ta, sa mga sa kang Jesus. Diin na ang ultimate goal, mauna yung end sa atong kaluwasan ka mo. So, mauna ang future glory. And then, 
So verses 17 to 18, ang glory, i-picture mo ang glory ng kita, na nahimo ng heirs, part sa atong glory, dugang picture niya ng himaya sa atong unahan, is nahimo tang manununod. Let's read again Romans 8.17 And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Na atay sulundo, na atay panundo, nahimu tang manununod, tungkol kay nahimu matahan na. We become heirs. O atong nakakunan na ang naghatag na itong dihini, ang source sa atong inheritance, ang Diyos, mo na heirs of God. Siya ang naghatag na itong panulundun, maghatag na itong panulundun. O tungkol kay siya man ang source ni ini, o siya man ang nag-promise ni ini, di likod din niya bakwiyon. So, niya part na sa works of Holy Spirit na masecure na ang ato future glory. And then, ang extent, kung sa man idakon, kineng atong future glory, idugang pa na sa verse 17, Join heirs with Christ. So, atong nakakunan to Sundays ago na kauban ta ang manununod ni Ginoong Iso Cristo. Buot pa sa buot, kung unsa ang ma-inherit ni Jesus, ma-inherit po sa believer. Let's remind once again that this is for the believer. Pagiging ang mandarihan, if children, since children, sa so lahat ng translation, Tungkol kay anak na manta, by faith, nahimo na manta ang anak, by faith, nahimo na punta ang heir, manununod, na atay inheritance na. O kung kung sa'yo may inherit ni Christ, and this is mind-boggling, dapat ko kaya ni siya, wala na yung limit. Kung si Christ, iyang may inherit ang whole universe, then we are joint heirs with Christ. So just imagine that. Ang hindi pa nila ito ma-fully good comprehend sa unahan, ato ni masaktan, hindi hang mahimo na ito ang perfect po. I-reveal, i-reveal na sa ito, sa ginoo. Now, before that, before pa na ito na madawat, o mas natin na ito ang future glory, nakapatay i-go through as preparation. Before we enter in the fullness of being heirs, before pa nato madawag ang inheritance completely to its full extent na parihan na sa inheritance ni Christ na ay preparation. Again, ang atong text, akong basahon, pagbalik, Para ito gining masabdan, ma-familiarize din ito, Romans 8, 17 to 18. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. So before we go to the promised glory, We have to go through sufferings first. This is agian sa matakusa ng mga magtutuo. Sa di pa na masinati ang tibok himayak na ipadayat na ipromise mo go through patakaron o mga sufferings. Suffering precedes glory. O kung sa may pagpasabot na niini na kung sufferings kaya may nagkalain-lain na suffering nga giminian ng suffering, refer. Does it mean ba, kining suffering yun is sa verses 17 to 18, ang meaning ba ni Hadi is that sama ka ron sa atong crisis or pandemic or even sa atong taon, naghan na yung igutong, naghan na nga sakit because of this pandemic, maubali nga klase nga suffering ang giminian ni Hadi sa verses 17 to 18. You see, Isa na kung ganit na correct, sometimes nagamit din ako sa sayo ng context. So listen carefully. This suffering does not mean physical suffering necessarily. 
We're talking about all manners of suffering for the sake of Jesus Christ. Mga pag-antos tungod kay nahimusa naman tayo ni Kristo. Since we are children, we will be glorified if indeed we suffer with Him. You see? Ang suffering na nireferred to me, mo ng suffering related sa atong pagkakusa kang ginawang si Kristo. Related sa atong pagtuo kang ginawang si Kristo. Mo kini nga suffering ang nireferred to me. Now, dita, gusto maguna-una na sa kung saan na lang na suffering, makahatag na ito kimayat sa mga ano. Kung kita mag-suffer tungkol sa atong pagaling ng sayong na desisyon, kung kita mag-suffer tungkol sa atong ipangbuhat ni Sala, then that doesn't count. It's beneficial for us kung makalearn, malearn na ito, makalearn kagigan sa atong mistakes. Pero dili ka na ma-all gini din hingam mga sufferings. This suffering is related to our union with Christ. Maunin diri ang context sa text na yun. It's not just simply earthly pain. Tingalan yung pinunta. Hmm, listo nila akong pinabuhin ka ron. Yung tingang pandemic. Pura nga akong bana. Hindi ko magkasabot na ito. Or, listo nila ka ron. Kaya wala nang higikao. Maglisto ng panginabuhi. Nag-antos. Or, naakoy sakit ka ron. Dugan na yun akong ipaminaw. Dili ka na na klase ng pag-antos, dili ka na klase ng kanang na suffering ang giming dini nining mga verses. You see, ang verse 18, kung atang padayon ang nagbasa, giklaro kung saan ang suffering. Sufferings referred to here are about sufferings of this present time. For I consider that the suffering of the present time. Present time, atong gisinati, atong masinati. Sufferings in the present time because of our faith in Christ. He's talking about si Paul, nag-isnot na ito about issues of life. Sufferings of life, tungod sa atong pagtuo, tungod sa atong pagkahimo ng anak sa Diyos, pinag-is pagtuo kang ginawa sa Kristo. Those who will be glorified in the future will suffer in the present time. So I, the idea of this word suffering here has to do with persecution, mockery, scorn, ridicule, pag BIBI, pag persecute, pag reject, sama sa diagian ng inong Kristo, sa pangini pa siya sa kalibutan, mao ka na na klase na suffering ang gimihin din ni. So kung din sa mga itong i-glorify sa unahan, ang mga anak i-glorify sa unahan, but at the present time, mo go through ni ini klase na suffering. Persecutions. Pag-BIBI, rejections. Snapping. Because of our faith. Sometimes, gaan lang, kini nga klase o sa hain, Gaan na na pag-BIBI, joke-joke lang ka, or may hihapon. Sometimes, kinihan ka siya suffering, mag-lead to death. Sa mga sagis natin sa mga apostles, ipang martyr. O kang tanan, ang bibi na na, tanan ka siya suffering because of our faith, covered, meaning suffering ang kinihini. Matag usaka mga anak, sa ginoo, tinood nga mga anak, ng go through your dini, nga suffering, different levels pagkaha. We've been disliked, or eliminated pagkaha, or looked down, tungkol sa atong pagkakristuhano, or gibi-ibi, gimak in some way or another. Because of our faith in Jesus Christ. Because He simply says here, we are the heirs if we are the ones who are suffering. We are the ones who will be glorified together with the Lord if we are the ones that are suffering. Kanang word na uh, 
Galing word, in as much, or if indeed we suffer, if indeed. Nagisgot ka na o, it speaks of a true condition, a statement of facts. We can say na ang suffering, mo na mark sa atong identity. Ang pagkantos, ang persecution, ang pagdiayay ng sa atong faith, mo ka na mark na identified ka with Christ. Christians are going to be eliminated from the world. The world, ang kalimutan, dili yun uh, makadawa sa tinuod ng Christian. Tagan pa yung mga verses. Later, I'm going to tell you more about the kind of verses. Again, what Paul is talking about is that the kind of suffering that ng atong sinatiyon mo nang related sa atong pagtuod ni Kristo. Suffering because of our oneness with Jesus Christ. It is because we identify with Jesus that we suffer, that we feel reproach, alienated, that we are rejected or snubbed. Sometimes, na ani sa families, nagantang pa doon gano, sa mga youth, na nagtapo o uh, sa lahat yung mga grupo, kadungog pa ng mga youth, na di lang mo na sila mo join sa atong worship, tungkol kay naman sila silang parents pa ka. That's one kind of uh, rejection sa part na sa kanyang na suffering ang gimingi, hindi, hindi po din hindi. It is because we identify with Jesus that we suffer. Sa high close friends, di ka sa atong mga close friends or sa atong classmates or di ka sa atong mga katrabaho or ka sa workplace. It may involve relationships with our co-workers, sa work baka or sa school. It may involve number of eliminations relationally in life. Ngayon mo distansya na ito tungon sa akong pagkakristuhan mo. Dili mo kata i-hire or dili mo kata i-befriend tungon kay mo man yung akong pagtuo. That's part of the sufferings na gerefer in me ni Apostle Pablo sa Romans 8, 17-18. Some Christians in other parts of the world suffer gani, grabe kayo din ang pagsuffer na presuhon Tungon kayo nag-worship sila, pandakpong, o kakuban ganit ibehed sa mga countries ng mga anti-Christian. So that's part also of suffering ng kini ng i-refer ni Apostle Pablo. But suffering is a necessary part for the preparation of glory. This is necessary part for the preparation of glory. Now if we read 2 Timothy 3.12, 2 Timothy 3.12 Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. This is clear. Yes. So one translation, in fact, all, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, there will be a level of alienation na ay measure of hostility ni atong mag-desire na magpuyo o gabli ni ating ginaw sa Kristo. O hindi natin tanahon as negative, but let's perceive it as positive because it's part of our preparation for glory. Part na i-go through sa usaka believer para o niyang madawag ang glory na gihandaw sa unahan. 2 Timothy 3.12 Yes, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. All who will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Now, inaoto, makapatong niya, makapatong tagigong kusun o courage nga mo live yung ako gatling bisan pa man sa persecution kay part ay gina sa atong identity another verse, 2 Timothy 2 11-12 it is a faithful saying 2 Timothy 2 11-12 it is a faithful saying 
For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Kung mo suffer ta, then mo reign ta niya. If we deny him, he will also deny us. It's a faithful saying. In other words, this is very true. Kung kita mo go through suffering, na po tayo glory ng ipaw. Kung na tayo glory ng ipaw, mo go through it and in suffering. It's a faithful saying. Si Paul, grabe tayo experience ni ng persecution, rejection. The true Christians, you see, are a rebuke to the world. Ang kalibutan, hostile kaayo sa mga Kristohan. In one way or another, on different levels. This world is Christ rejecting. And therefore, he reject po ng mga believers. Now, the more we suffer, the more we grow. Another verse. Let's read another verse. First Peter five ten. First Peter five ten. After you suffer a while, the Lord will make you perfect. That's part of First Peter five ten. After you suffer a while, the more you suffer, the more you grow. The more you grow the more you're fitted with capacity to glorify the Lord. Let's read 1 Peter 5, 10. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Mas klaro ni siya sa inaili, may inaili. The God of all grace, will make you perfect. Kung ato nang sumpayo ng thought, nung si Peter, mo nang sa NIV, He Himself will make you perfect after you suffer a while. Sa NIV, But the God of all grace who called you to His eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, Will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. In other words, you, you want to look at your suffering and look at that alienation and that persecution as your path to glory. The more faithful you are here in this world, the more bold you are here, the more you pursue godliness, the greater will be the hostility sa kalimutan ng nakaling. Those who reject the truth, the more they will reject you. But anyway, after you have suffered a while, God Himself, the Lord Himself, will restore you, will strengthen you. Paul, si Paul, nagang ngayon kasi natinan, mag-isdot ng tag-sufferings. Ninon si Paul. Rejoice, Paul rejoiced in his suffering because when he was weak, he was strong. In other words, Paul was willing to suffer not only in this life, he was willing to be weak. Tumod ka ang ginoo, sa panahon na siya, weak mo may mag-supply niya strength. But not only that, tinangat mo ay gimin po ni Paul. Tumod ka ang Diyos may mag-supply niya strength kung siya weak. But because also it gained for him a greater weight of glory. Second Corinthians 4.17. Let's read Second Corinthians 4.17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding weight of glory. You see? Si Paul was willing to suffer. Dilin ng Paul kay sa panahon sa suffering, Ang Diyos mag-supply niya sa iyang need, mag-supply ng strength, mag-supply ng comfort, mag-supply ng grace. Panahon na siya weak, panahon sa iyang suffering. Not only that, kundi nihingon si Paul, because it is working for us a far more exceeding. 
an eternal way of glory. The more you suffer, hindi kinabuyan, hindi kalimutan, mas dako ang imong capacity sa glory in the life to come. So don't be, di lang kong tatak, mo compromise sa akong faith. Nungon kay na yung ABI na And I hope this will be an encouragement to those who are young in the faith to stand in your faith because this persecution, this alienation, this rejection, this mockery towards atong pagtuo will work for us to a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The more we suffer here in this earth, in this life, mas buka, mas dako ang atong capacity sa glory na maabot ko niya. The more you suffer here, the more you learn about God and the more you abandon yourself para sa pagpangalagat sa ginawa. The more you take the rebuke of the world, the closer you draw to Him, the more God will give you strength and the more God will fit you to bear an eternal weight of glory. So when we suffer in this life, when we are persecuted, when we are rejected, when we are alienated, when we are mocked, because Kristohan nata or Kristohan nata tungo sa atong pagtu, di liyon tata mo kagyo niya na, di liyon tata mo ako, tungo kay is to increase our capacity for an eternal weight of glory. Ang atong pagbilibia, ang pagbilibia sa kalibutan, ang reject sa kalibutan sa Kristo hano, na ay rason ang Diyos niyang partner for greater weight of glory. O ang Diyos lang ay nasali ko doon sa mabing fullness ni Anang greater weight of glory. Whatever ang atong bisin natin, in a alienation, whatever level it is, ikan sa atong family, ikan sa atong friends, sa neighborhood makaha. Whatever it is, whatever difficulty ng atong isinatik tungo sa atong pagtu, it's only like a flexion. Gaan lang kung yung magwork pa na o exceeding in eternal way of glory. Malin si Paul ang iyang attitude. In a sense, I welcome the persecution to not guide sa unahan maghatag man na akong dugang capacity for glory. Maghatag man na akong dugang glory para sa Diyos. So, morning perspective, attitude di po, naangan po natin sunod. Dili taangay ang buko, kundi mabarong ta sa atong pagkikristohanan, dili sama niya itong storya na Wag yun ang kibaw, ang kristuhan ng day siya. No. Bisan pa man yun yung rejection sa kalimutan, Christ himself was rejected. Also, kita ng mga children will be in one way or another i-reject or be in kalimutan. If children, then heirs, heirs of God, joint heirs of Christ, that if indeed we suffer with Him. See? These sufferings, just a little reminder, kanyang na sufferings, di ko ni paagi para makadawat na ni nga ni eternal weight of glory. Kung baga, maon ni bayan o puli, gusto na lang tapar may suffer. No! Again, sa atong text, this is part of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. This suffering partly sa hanay sa Holy Spirit para ma-refine ang atong faith. They are God appointed the circumstances na mabot sa atong kinabuhi. Nga pag-BIDI, nga pag-reject, nga alienation. Part lang sa works of Holy Spirit gidala sa atong kinabuhi para ma-refine ang atong faith, para ma-prepare tanihan ng eternal glory. So, it's just a matter of being willing to live sa atong pagkakristuhano ni taliwala ng hiningin sinful world. It's just a matter of that being ashamed and speaking the truth in love. 
Uh, let's close this. In conclusion, let me summarize. Our suffering comes from men, but our glory comes from God. What do you compare to that? Did you not make compare? Our suffering is earthly. Our glory is heavenly. Our suffering is short. Our glory is forever. Kung kita mahulaw sa kung pagkakristohan mo, then kinangan mo to buta. Okay. It's part of our identity, Mark. Mark us at kung pagkausa na ni Kristo na agi yung pag-BIBI one way or another in different degrees. Our suffering is light, our glory is heavy. Our suffering is in this human body. Our glory is in total perfection of personhood. The glory that shall be revealed in us. You see? The, sa verse 18, Romans 8, 18. The glory that shall be revealed to us. The glory to be revealed for us. The glory to be revealed in us, but the glory that shall be revealed in us. Total perfection of personhood. But before we totally receive that glory, again, we will suffer here in this present time. We will suffer a little while here on earth because of our faith. Sama si Cristo, we despise or we reject. We too will experience the same. And last, let me read this verse to close. First Peter 1, 6 to 7. In this you greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Ang atong pag-go through ni means suffering. Ang atong pag-to, importante man ganun case of gold, mo nang i-test it by fire. Ang gold ka i-test by fire, ang atong faith i-test it. Kung hinaw, Sa mga sabihin mo din ni Peter, kung kita mo barog sa atang pagpista ng mga diling maulaw, our faith may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So ask yourself, if you're willing to be bold, faithful, if you're willing to be clear in your Christian testimony, aron ang tanang tao ng palibot ka ninyo, makailan yung lukas na bakit ikaw kristuhan mo, are you willing to stand in your faith? Willing to speak the truth of Jesus Christ in love? And if you need be, suffer humiliation and hostility and alienation and not be bothered by it at all, but rather embrace it. Tungod kay ang kanang mga suffering, mag-yield man sa eternal way of glory. And if you are not yet in Christ, then believe Him. Make Him your Lord and Savior, and your future will be guaranteed, glorified by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Father, salamat ino, ino. Nga mo, pagkantos, kung sa mong pagtulia, kanino ino, madulang yun yung purpose. It's good for our faith, Father God. Sa panahon ng kami, they be ayon, they reject, they alienate from your friends, your families, your family. It will work for us a greater way to glory. So Lord, help your people to stand in the faith, not to compromise our faith, Lord, but to stand boldly, speak boldly your truth, no matter what the customs of you. May you continue to equip us to do your works, and let our light shine, and people will see you and glorify you in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.